The 80s Fife new town of Dalgetty Bay is a haven for bird life and a beautiful waterfront location. Much of the area is built on what was once home to the Ministry of Defence and its Donny Russell airfield and base, which were located here, near to the fourth crossing, an important wartime landmark. So called harmless radioactivity fines have grabbed the headlines for brief periods on and off for the last few years. But the recent discovery of higher levels of radioactive particles has now brought the concern into the front pages once again. Further material has now been found. Constituency MP Gordon Brown has now called for the Scottish Environment Protection Agency to bring forward its meeting with the local forum. Yeah, I've been talking to Colin McPhail, who's the chairman of the Community Council, about what needs to be done. We've always got to get the balance right, uh, as we have over the last 20 years, between the need uh, to properly monitor what's happening and to make sure that nothing untoward is, is going to uh, affect the people of Dalgetty Bay. And at the same time, of course, we don't want to uh, uh, ignite people's fears unnecessarily. Uh, and therefore, the three things that I think have got to be done now is one is the radiation forum that's called by the Scottish Environmental Protection Agency, which is due to meet on November the 22nd. It, it ought to meet in the next few days. And I think the people of Dalgetty Bay who are on the forum would welcome the chance of that meeting so that we can uh, find out exactly what has been going on. I think the second thing is on health. Uh, we have had a number of studies done about the effects of uh, on health and they have been inconclusive, they have not suggested anything untoward, but these have got to be brought up to bait because uh, people's fears must be allayed. And I think the third thing that is really quite um, uh, necessary now is for years we've been monitoring this and only in the last uh, few days really have we found uh, that the levels of uh, radiation are at a higher uh, level than people had expected for a number of different materials. Now that that has been found, remedial work has got to be done. It's not enough now just to continue to monitor it. We've got to do the remedial work and you'll see in the background here that we've got uh, a site that has been cordoned off. There is another site that has to be looked at. This really arises from things that happened many, many years ago when people were not as aware as we are now of the safety precautions that have got to be taken and now that these uh, radiation levels have been discovered, we've got to take the action that's necessary. So remedial work. And on Friday, I met um, Mr. McPhail, the chairman of the community council. I met the head of the sailing club. We talked about these things and we decided that um, I would write to the Ministry of Defence, as I did at the weekend, asking them for remedial work to be done. Now, this is something that I think the community council welcomes and it's something that is necessary, I think, to allay people's fears. Over the years, I've taken this up on very regular occasions. I, I think what I've been trying to do is to make sure that there's continuous monitoring, uh, because we know there's, uh, there's an issue, but we also know uh, that uh, you've got to make sure that you are clear about what the levels are. Uh, we have monitored it. It's only in the last few days we've found something that has been um, completely untoward. Now that that has been discovered, you've got to take the action that's necessary and the remedial action that we propose, as well as the health action and the regular consultation, which should be stepped up is something that I think could be done immediately. Taking on board community feeling, the constituency MP has quietly ensured continuation of the monitoring of the area, something the community council says is absolutely necessary to move the issue forward. Yes, Gordon Brown has helped. Certainly he's taken it up the, with the MOD on more than one occasion on our behalf. He can contact the MOD uh, on, on my behalf and got them to carry on with the monitoring because at one stage they felt that they were going to cease the monitoring. But the mood of the community um, over the years has sort of been, oh okay, it's there, uh, we have to live with it sort of thing. Um, but just the, over the past couple of weeks I would say there's a change in the mood because of the particles being found of high radioactive nature. And as you can see we're only talking about a very small section of the beach that was polluted by the contamination of radioactive substance that was dumped here all those years ago. And people's th feeling, you know, all Dalgetty Bay, the whole of the beach is infected, contaminated. Uh, but whether we have three and a half kilometres of beach here you know, around the town, as you can see around the bay here. Mm -hmm. So the mood, as I can surmise, is going to change because of the media uh, attention and also. Um, you know, the panic, uh, could not say panic, that may or may not be induced within the community. Um, but now, of course, what's happened over the past fortnight uh, could culminate in a more serious attention being given. 
and what is needed is the MOD to come up finally with a, a programme of remediation works in agreement with SEPA. Despite dramatic headline splashes in the daily newspapers, the local people have adopted a more pragmatic approach. I think people here uh, know that this has been an issue for many years, but they also um, have lived with this in a way that uh, they want to be secure. At the same time, they don't want unnecessary fears that damage both property prices in the area and damage people's sense of uh, security in the area. Large numbers of children are in the sailing club as well as adults. It's a very, very successful club. It's gone from strength to strength over the years. Uh, we need the remedial action now so that people's uh, fears can be allayed. Action is taken uh, and I will work very closely as I've always done with the Community Council on these issues. The future is, I think, that as regards um, the MOD and SEPA, sit down together, sort out the differences and come up with a programme of remediation works um, and to solve it. You, I don't think you can solve this type of radiation um, completely, but you can reduce it by about uh, you know, 80 85 percent, that sort of fraction. And then the rest of it, you know, which might get washed in as such or come up, be eroded on the beach, could be picked up, um, is manageable. There's only got a management strategy to deal with that. But I think the main remediation works is I think people will be satisfied uh, for remediation works to be carried out. The last thing we want is for it to be declared as a radioactive contaminated land area here that goes on the register because that would then blight us as a community. And I think that is the last resort. What really needed is the amicable way if they can uh, um, solve their differences, uh, the MOD and SEPA as a way ahead for remediation works to be carried out.